So good to see you again. Thanks for having me, darling. You no, know, you're such a busy woman. You know, so many Girl things going try. on. Girl must try. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's just a a life choice. People say you're very, very busy. I say, am I? You know. Mm. Yeah, it feels quite normal, I suppose. How did it all start for you? Darling, it was so long ago, I can't remember now. <laughs> um, I think it, it, well, I don't think, I did, I did grow up in a family who were, nobody was professionally interested in food, but completely adored food. And so I've sort of been cooking and, and eating at restaurants since, or well, since I could stand. Um, but in, that, in those days, we're talking about back in the dark ages, you know, you couldn't, there wasn't a career in food, it was like we look at it now, you basically could be a chef, or a caterer, or a food technologist. And I didn't, you know, that sort of teenage thing, I thought, oh, if I'm a chef or a caterer, I'll get fat, I can't possibly. So I studied marketing, um, and then sort of, my sister was, had been in magazines, and I sort of went, went into magazines, not really necessarily intending to get into food. A little bit about, you know, uh, you know you've got two kids um, at home, you know, do you still have the energy to cook at home and cook for them? Or, and what do you guys like to eat and what do you like to drink? I'm a Sauvignon Blanc girl, although this is very nice, Ray. <laughs> um, I do, I'm a, I'm a good Sauvignon Blanc girl. I, we entertain a lot, very, very casually, um, with lots of children and lots of brides and lots of slow cooked food, so it's very informal. I don't, to be honest, as cook as much as I used to. I just have pretty long days and homework and whatever. So. I mean, I cook for them for sure, and we all eat quite healthily. But I do tend to cook more now on weekends. You know, a couple of years ago, I'd cook every single night. You know, we have a lot more spaghetti bolognese than I'd like to admit. But, um, but yeah, a, a family meal is still pretty important to us, and a glass of stuff in your blank is what separates day from night. <laughs> <laughs> and then I gotta ask, you know, what is your recipe for success? Whew, you know what? Just keep it real. Keep it really real. Just don't forget who you are and who they are. And at the end of the day, if you can have fun, if you can really have fun, then all the people who work for you and all the people who are receiving what you do will feel that fun and there will be an engagement that will spontaneously sort of be created. And hopefully that's sustainable. Great. Now, I know you very well and I know you always keep it real. So. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for your time. Thank you. And um, really great to catch up with you again. It was wonderful. Thanks for having Cheers. me. I'm honoured. <laughs>